Hi, it's Barbara Michelle, and I have another junk journal to share with you today. Or at this, in this video, it might be even the same day that you watched the other ones if you watched them. So let's begin with the, you know, dimensions. It's almost eight and a half long. It's about an eighth of an inch shorter than eight and a half, which I don't know what that measurement is. Uh, and five and a half wide. All right, and it's bound with some twine. This one seems thinner than some of the other ones, but we shall see. Okay, so here on the inside is kind of a narrower pocket than I've done. A little space for writing and a tag. Lovely floral book page. Tracing paper. Um, a writing coffee dyed composition writing page pattern paper with the pocket it's a really deep pocket um, craft paper no cardstock craft cardstock and this has a tuck spot kind of goes it's made for the same paper pad that the cover it's made from, and that is a Prima paper pad. I don't know the name of it, but I like the thickness of the paper and I like the design as well. That's why I chose it. And let's see, this is a ledger page. It just comes from a ledger book you can get at the office supply store. This is drawing paper. I got it at Hobby Lobby. This is a page from a children's book. It's about a rabbit wedding, coffee dyed composition notebook. I love the composition notebooks because they're bound together with a string in the middle and if you cut the strings the whole page comes out. It's fabulous. Actually when I'm going to buy children's books or whatever books for my journals, I look and see how they're bound in the middle because if they're bound with a string I know I can, um, most of the pages will come out if you just cut the string. There's usually one or two, there's sometimes one or two that are glued together. Those don't always come out cleanly and then they they become little bits and pieces, but I like the bigger pages. This book was a really big book, so I didn't do that with the bunny book, but anyway. Um, the composition paper and this is drawing paper. This is music paper, computer paper, coffee dyed paper. We're just going to call it paper. This is the computer paper again and it has a nice little pocket. I did not ink the edges of that one though. Now you normally ink the edge right here so it has a nice contrast with the background. It's easy to see but that one's not inked. Um, a book page. Oh, that's pretty. Grapes. <sighs> Steno pad page. More drawing paper, and this one has a pocket. This green paper comes from a journal that had was bound with the strings in the middle, and I just, you know, cut the strings, and then I have a bunch of wonderful pages to add to my junk journals. This is cardstock. Grid graph paper. This is a book page uh, from a children's book and that was the center so we'll just see the second half of the book the graph paper again uh, cardstock with the tuck spot that journal page drawing paper steno pad page a book page the computer paper with the pocket Um, what's this called? Just coffee dyed paper. Another piece of computer paper. That's just a small, small section of it. Music paper. More drawing paper. Coffee dyed composition notebook. The rabbit wedding book page. Look at that beautiful bunny. Alright, here's a text spot on this page. And there we go on that one. What's this called? Drawing paper. 
This is a ledger book. I actually used to work with a ledger book when I first started at my office job. I'm really glad that the computer does all that work for me now. Craft cardstock. Um, pattern paper pocket. Oh, I got a couple of guest checks. Nope, no guest check in the front. It's there on the back side. All right, pattern paper. And the coffee dyed writing paper. Tracing paper. And... Flamingo flower. Nope, that one's called something else. Um, but anyways, that's the page for the flower book. And here on the back side is another little pocket for your goodies. There's a postcard. That came from a paper pad that was a cut apart. And then I just inked the edges and just stressed around it. Makes it look more vintagey. This is a little journaling card, and this is a card from Project Life. Um, I think it's the Maggie Holmes one. I think that's the one I have. I got like you know one of those big boxes of Project Life cards. I don't even do Project Life. Uh, the paper, the part, the pocket pages, not my favorite thing, but I love the cards. They're fantastic. So they're useful for other things besides Project Life. All right, so let's put that back in the front. And there you go. There was that notebook. It seems skinny, but it had just as many pages, I think. Um, it doesn't seem as thick as the other ones. But that's okay. It's still a beautiful notebook. Uh, if you're interested, it should be on my Etsy shop if it's still there. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you have a wonderful day. Thank you.